Yo, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today uh, we're going to be doing your own custom content type in Drupal. So last time we showed you how to create an article, and the time before that we showed you how to create a page, and this time we're going to show you how to create a content type so that you can make up your own types of content. And this can be extremely useful. Since this is going to be my portfolio site, um, um, I'm going to have different projects I'm going to import in here. And these projects are going to have all sorts of stuff from images to video links. Um, and it's going to have to take some different types of media. Uh, we're not going to get into adding those types of media or those, those custom fields yet because those are going to require some modules that we'll show you a little bit later. But for now, uh, we're going to get in by just in uh, creating a, your own content type and we'll show you how flexible that is so that um, you can get working building your own custom content types to build out your site's content with if it doesn't fit the mold of their defaults. So we're going to go to structure and in structure there's a uh, item called content types. Um, actually, I'm going to click this plus here to add this to my shortcuts bar because I'm going to be using this a lot in the initial development of this site. So it's up here now. And as you'll see, here's your article and basic page. We can actually modify article or basic page by adding some fields or editing them. However, for now, it's just going to be easier to show you how to start from the beginning. So to get started, we'll click add content type. We're going to call this project. Um, my projects. So this description doesn't really show up anywhere other than in the administrative section. It's nice if you're building this site for clients and you have a bunch of different content types. Let's say they have a news posting, um, and you know there's news or or events or something like that, and you want to give them even more clarification besides just what the name is, uh, what its function is on the site. So here, you know, that's where you add your description. So the title field by default is title. Uh, I'm going to leave this as title because it's the page title. I don't change that very often, but um, if you need to, you can. Um, I'm going to leave preview before submitting as optional because, um, you know, if I want it, uh, you know, it's there. And if I don't, I don't have to use it. Okay. Um, next, we're going to go to publishing options. Uh, the default will be published, and I'm going to turn off promoted to front page so the default is going to be published but I don't want every single post to automatically promote it be promoted to the front page when you're creating your individual pieces of content you can then select this promoted to the front page um, to whichever one specifically you want to be promoted to be promoted okay so publish is the only one I want by default if you were having a site where many people were sort of reviewing content and creating content and not always the person who creates it uh, submits it and it goes live, then you might want to deselect published so that when you create a piece of content, it's not automatically up on the site. But uh, I'm going to be the only person making content here, so I'm going to leave this as published. Okay, display settings. You know what? I, I don't. I don't really need to display my the author or date information. This will show up on the note itself, and um, you know, it usually just gets in the way. You just end up turning it off. So. Uh, you know, if you were making a blog post and you had a couple people making blog posts, you know, you could use that to distinguish who's making the post. But um, for this particular content type, I'm not going to bother. And comment settings. I'm going to turn comments off. Um, I will eventually want to have comments on some of my project pages. However, I'm going to do that through um, Discuss, which is a web service that... Um, is very popular for adding comments and I'll be adding discuss with the module a little bit later but as far as Drupal's comment system goes I'm not going to use it for this so I'm just gonna say closed um, and actually I'm gonna turn it to hidden it's not even gonna show up so menu settings uh, this is when you create your content it asks you if you want to put it in a menu um, these things are not going to go in any menu in particular so I'm just not going to have any available menus for now eventually um, Maybe you want to do like a sitemap or something, and I can put in that. Um, actually, we will select main menu because they're going to go under projects, um, and I'm just not going to display them in the projects menu anywhere necessarily. But as far as page structure goes, they're going to live under the main menu projects. So we'll leave that, I guess. 
And now we're going to um, save and add fields because without adding fields, it's pretty much the same as a page. So if you next stop is this manage fields. Okay, so here, as you can see, it's just like your page. You had a title and a body. Um, this body has a field where it's a long text and summary, and the widget is using a text area with a summary. You can just delete this if uh, you feel so inclined, if you don't need this. Uh, if you need to add a new field, it's right here. You can also add an existing field. Eventually, when you keep creating fields, it adds them to the existing fields. Since we haven't really created any fields, um, our options are only field image and field tags, which were available in the article. So let's just add a new one, and we're going to call this, um, we'll have this be a type of project. So I want this to be a term reference. So I'm going to have different types of projects, whether it's video project or web project. Um, and so I'm going to use taxonomy for that. And so I'm going to use a term reference because I'm going to be referencing a taxonomy term or a category. So I'm going to call this field and we're going to call this um, type. So field type and this will be project type. So your field names are going to need to be machine writable, uh, readable as in um, no spaces, lowercase letters, and underscores only. Um, as far as this name, the field name, it can be anything you want because this is only pretty much displayed in the back end. So we're going to say term reference and we want this to be an autocomplete term widget uh, because these things are probably only going to be one thing and if I have a whole bunch of different terms I don't necessarily want them to be check buttons cause, or check boxes because that list could get really long. Okay, so to add a new field you just have to fill out these forms. If I want it to appear above the body which I do because, you know, usually I want to select what type of project it is before I start writing the body text. I'll drag it above here. And now we're going to click Save. And it's going to say which vocabulary do you want to use. Um, since we haven't created any vocabularies yet, yeah, we'll use tags. Um, so I'm going to click this, Save Settings. Okay, this is your field settings. So um, this is asking me all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, you know, label, we already had that. You can give it some help text. Um, you can give it a default value. You can say how many values you want it to have. We just want this to have one value, so we're going to select one. As you can see, it can be unlimited. Um, and this is where you can also select what vocabulary it's using. So we're selecting tags, and we're going to save this. Okay, so now we have our content type. If we back out of here and we go to add content, you'll now see that project shows up as an ob as a content type. We'll type in title, we'll just do my first project just to try it out, and this is gonna be a video. Um, okay, and the body, body text. And we're gonna put this under the a main menu, but oh, well, actually, we'll just skip this for now because we don't have a projects page yet. Um, we're not going to create a revision. We're not going to worry about URL aliases right now, and it's going to comments are going to be closed as they are by default, um, and it will be published. We'll click save, and here we are. As you can see, it automatically lists your body text, your project type, and your video. In the next lesson, we're going to be going over how to use Manage Display to um, work with these labels or work with this layout here. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Uh, feel free to check out any of our other series going on right now. We have a, a Compass and SAS series. We have an Expression Engine series going on, and we're going to be starting a WordPress series really soon. So feel free to let us know what you're thinking. Uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.